got sent in this dilemma. <laughs> oh, it feels good saying that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go on, go my on. future mother-in-law is sabotaging my wedding. Hey! Man said yes. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> goodness. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hey, girls. Hope you're well. My, dile- my dilemma is my future mother-in-law is really making me question whether I want to get married to my fiancé slash her son. Jesus. Oh, question. Hey. <laughs> These things are... Kiki <laughs> Hagger. <laughs> 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 my fiancé and I have been together for the past two years and everything was really blissful until he proposed six months ago. Until he proposed? Until he proposed. No, that's yes, crazy. No. <laughs> <laughs> everything was going well until, until he, he tried, decided he wanted to marry me. Can you imagine? Oh my goodness. Yes. Uh. Before our engagement, I had never met his parents. Oh, oh error number, number one. one. Red error flag. number one. Black. Red flag. Error number, number one. one. Number one. 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 What? As we both wanted to be serious before we introduced each other to our families. How so, can you get more serious than being engaged? Like, okay, I don't get it. What I will say is back in the day, because I've had this conversation with my parents, mm. they didn't really meet the their um their partner's parents mm. until like there was some sort of Engagement like they're ready to marry. To be honest, in certain cultures, yeah, that is how it goes. How it yeah. is. So okay, Fair enough. yeah. So that's kind of how I took it. But even in this day and age, I'm, yeah, in this, age, though, in this day and age, I feel like people are a bit more um, open to wanting to know who their child has been with. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. This is, and it sounded mm. like sorry to cut you. No, go on. It sounded like. Because I feel like if it was part of their culture, she would say, as is part of our culture. Mm. But she said that it's because... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, you oh, do you want to say... No, I was just kidding. In this day and age, it doesn't make sense at all to do that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Yeah. That's okay. messed up still. Yeah. My family absolutely love him and are very excited about our weather, how, with, with, about our wedding. His I mother, however... <laughs> his mother, however... Big Wahala. Uh, oh. oh. Just to give you... She said a, Wahala. Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay. Just to give you a background on the situation, he is Nigerian Yoruba, and I am from and I am from Sierra Leone. I'm screaming. Oh. That's already mess up. So right. yeah. Yeah. So no, 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 I feel like I, honestly, thank God we have Junior in this That's house because we can't we can in the building we now. We called you. No, literally. Yeah. This is this okay. Is wait, perfect. so before you carry on, she is Sierra Leone She's and he is Yoruba. Yoruba. The mum is wild Yoruba. for that, but we'll get onto it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, like I said, we initially wanted to incorporate both cultures on our trad day, but his mother has refused. Hmm. She said she has said the Yoruba culture is richer and better. She ain't lying. You are a giant man. What are you talking about? Culture is richer and better, and no one would understand the Sierra Leone stuff. Hmm. Well, even though well, we've been very happy, well, to... me. <laughs> and no one, <laughs> you know, when it's doing you know, a wedding, wait, hold on, you know, when it's a wedding, a wedding, you know, what's going on, it's time to start arguing going Stop, outside. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, where's the toilet? Where's the toilet? I'm going to take my selfies in the flowers. You know what I mean? Oh, 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 o
That was my first issue. Secondly, she demanded that she pick the colors of our Ashiobi. Oh, oh God, this is a mother-in-law of from course. L. <laughs> from the L. Boy. Of course, this was a major side eye, but once again, I let it slide. This weekend, I nearly lost it. Mm. I had mm. found the perfect wedding dress, and I oh, thought... Oh, my God. Please. She shouldn't even be in the room. She's not going to comment on her wedding dress. Well, cheer. Yeah, this weekend, I nearly lost it. I found the perfect wedding dress, and I thought it would be a nice... It would, be, it would be nice to have a girly day out with my Ooh. maid of honor, mother-in-law, oh, and my mom and my grandma. That's a mistake. I mm. tried on the dress and they all loved it except for my mother-in-law. No surprise there. <laughs> she said my <coughs> breasts are too big. <laughs> Ma'am? Ma'am. And why you gotta do all no, that? Why, you to show do breasts? All why can't she show her breasts though? No, but literally. Family. No, she didn't say that she showed her breasts. She said that her breasts, breasts are, are too big yeah. and it will make me look like an Ashewo. <laughs> in front of everyone. <laughs> Try everyone, like that. Yeah, she So like basically, that. She'll, it'll make her look like a prostitute. Yeah. Hey. Everyone was shocked, and my mom had to step in and diffuse this situation. I love a supportive parent. No, yeah. honestly. Mm. She never even apologized. I mm. broke down to my fiance on the phone, and he brushed it off and said, hey! He did what? Wait, 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 wait. Honestly, people like this piss me off. <laughs> people like this piss me off. Damn. No, because the mad thing we hit us. No, a nerve, man. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, I'm joking, but obviously I feel like you know we'll be able to talk more about this because we ain't we ain't married, y'all. But I just feel like <laughs> there's married, there's bitches, <laughs> there's me and Sharon. <laughs> 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 Wedding and all that sort of thing, yeah. but like even just in general relationships, mm, like mm. if you guys aren't on the same page about stuff, forget it. You are not going to survive parents coming into the equation. <laughs> oh, like boy. you're not, you're going boy. to be doing wishy washy, wishy washy, and you ain't gonna last. And this is no. why she coming to send us dilemma. Mm, Do you know yeah. what I mean? No, but it's true. Yeah. It's true, and it really annoys me. It really upsets me yeah. because that's not a way to start. A uh, serious relationship. That's why she you know? said that. Unfortunately, she proposed to me. Or what? What? That's crazy. crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. A time no. of jubilation. Literally, and now a time of despair. No, hey. literally. Yeah. So I broke down to my fiance on the phone, and he brushed it off oh. and said, "But babe, she's just very opinionated, just like you. No, oh. That's why. That's why. Oh. She's oh. Just like you. Oh, they always like to do oh, that. Wait a minute. Man, Wait stop a marrying minute. your mothers. <laughs> No, not even that, but it's kind of like, how's your mum done wrong? Now all of a sudden, it's also about me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, so, what, do. so what? Yeah, but you guys are the same, so... No. Nah. Nah, nah, it's nah, rude. Sorry. Nah, sorry. He's, he's got to stand up still. Yeah, he's yeah stand up, man. for real. She was like, I was even more mad. She literally called me a prostitute and he couldn't even check her. Hmm. I've decided for now to put a pause on the wedding. Hey! Uh, Good. Yeah, absolutely. Well wow! Absolutely. absolutely. No, 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 no. Well done. No, no. Well I, done. I'm shocked. I commend you. Yeah, that's job. a very I'm scary thing yeah. to do, but I think very. it's the right thing Good to job. do. Not going to lie. Yeah. Wow, because yes. this is your future. <laughs> yeah, if you think it's bad now, what do you have oh kids? God. No. Oh, gosh. It's true, Damn. bro. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, well she's decided sister. to pause the wedding plans and it's making me upset and I'm just having serious doubts. My girls agree with me, but they're also Nigerian and oh. just keep saying Nigerian mothers can be quite overbearing and want to take over. So should I just leave it? Am I being dramatic stopping the plans or should I just go ahead? I'm just worried that things will get worse from here. She mm. is also... <laughs> This, oh, one, this is what made me She's think of Pongali. Junior. This is what made me think of Junior. She's also constantly speaking Yoruba when. <laughs> this gives me, me PTSD, man. She's also constantly speaking Yoruba when around me and her son. I've spoken to him about this, and although I don't mind, it does. Although I don't mind it, it does make me feel like they're talking about me at time. Hey, yeah. Girls, sure. right now I feel so down. What is your advice? Oh. Anything is welcome. Please keep me a non. I love the pod. Oh. Oh, honestly, oh, sister. First Please. of all, honestly. before we even start to dissect, thank you so much for trusting us with this. Yeah. I don't know. I just always feel like 
amazed that people yeah, actually think yeah. like, oh, let me take the time to write out such yeah. a lengthy dilemma yeah, yeah. and ask these three girls that they've never met. Yeah. Also, I think we can give some guidance because we're also Nigerian, but I disagree with your friends. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, the, that, was, that was the Okay, thing. cool. Yeah. Boy. Let's get Junior's perspective first. Yes. What, immediately you're hearing that dilemma, like what's going for Also, you maybe give a bit of context to who you are, yes, your tribe. <laughs> Okay, wait, so where should I start then? Your name? Do your intro, do your intro to yourself and your parents, your child, all of that, and then we can go into it. So, hi guys, I'm Junior. Woo! Woo! He's a returning! 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 I'm Wait, a Harry Potter. Come on. But um, yeah, episode 39. And I think when it was episode 39, what was that? Was you I were engaged. You, I think you were. I was engaged. No, no, I don't think you were engaged. I don't think you were engaged. Wait. I don't think you were engaged. Wait, 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 he might have been engaged. You might have been engaged. Oh, really? I think he might have been engaged. I got engaged, I got engaged 20, uh, December 2020. I'm trying to think, did he record that same year that we I started? don't remember. I think so, you know. I don't know. Either you weren't or you or were newly just, okay, engaged. Okay, yeah. I thought you newly engaged. Yeah. So. Obviously, since then, yeah, um, I got married in like what April twenty twenty two. Special guests, we were there. Yeah, yeah, we, were yeah, there. we were 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 there. And then, just about. about. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then well, obviously. Then, <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 just about though. Uh, uh, because uh, some people they didn't make it to. Oh, uh, sure, 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 sure. <laughs> they got sure. to save the date, <laughs> but the date was not saved. <laughs> Not gonna anyway, lie, but you should have known. Anyway, it's what it is. We're just joking. We're just joking. We're just joking. We're just joking. It's just a joke. Just a small, just a small play. Just a play. Yeah, but um, so yeah, April twenty twenty is when I got married. Um, yeah. then other than that, I had a kid this Ooh, year. Oh, I know. No, I'm not. I'm trying to think of the, the timeline, yeah, yeah. but yeah, so. They were too quick, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, no time I wasted. Like we was quick no, honeymoon was honeymooning. Oh, yeah. I you. That's why we didn't see no snaps, boy. We didn't see no snaps, boy. <laughs> no, no, I can't lie, was it. No, to be honest, it's even true. I, I was shooting shit, you know. <laughs> Straight shooter. No, I was shooting. You know what? It must be nice to talk to me. You were shooting in the gym. No, yeah, you're right. You were shooting in the gym. I was going to say, it must feel nice to talk about this. I knew that you're not sinning. Sorry. But oh. you said on the pod that you guys were celibate for a period of time I before you. Two months, huh? I'm oh, sorry. Oh, you are. Oh, you <laughs> no, My no. mom was so proud of you. <laughs> uh, Auntie, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, no, really? Yeah, I thought you said two. that. Okay, okay, okay. No, I'm like, because you did say that on the pod. No, okay. I did. Because in uni, yeah, I was doing the yeah, business. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know. After uni, doing the business, then I got obviously. We're well, baptizing that. Yeah. Trying to do the celibate thing. <laughs> I backslid. I'm sorry, innit? Okay, fair enough. Fair <laughs> we tried to do enough. it, innit? Because we were like, okay, we're getting married. Why not wait a thing? But wow. that's hard. It, yeah, I hear it, man. It's yeah. thing, but. Okay. But, and it's your yeah. wife. Okay, so you still felt bad a little bit afterwards. Is that what you're saying? No, so even like after, after getting married, you know, it's not a sin anymore. But when you was doing it before and you're and so used to going and I say, God, I'll forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, now there's nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just like, wait, do I feel bad? Do I not yeah, feel bad? Yeah, yeah. But now I don't, you know, if I'm not, I go to sleep in it and I'm, my mind's clean. So it's <laughs> Yeah, I hear it. I hear it. Wow. Yeah, that's I think I remember when we came to your baby shower, we were like, oh, should I put Should this? we snap? I'm like, we should snap because it's a celebration. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. It's like, 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 it's like
because it's a long time and it's, a, it's been a while since I've been in this sort of context where it's actually yeah, 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 okay. Where it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. okay. But you yeah, know, so it's just like, no. it's culturally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and religiously. And, 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 yeah, and, 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 you know, in the, in the covenant of marriage. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, yeah, okay. but, yeah, so, um, had uh, Malachi, he came Aww. in May. So, so yeah, he's, he's here, man. Yeah. Three months in. Come on. So and good. obviously, like you mentioned, so, oh, you didn't mention your tribe. Where you, like, what, what oh, tribe? Oh, tribe, um, tribe, I'm half Ibo and half Hey, Ibo. the Emperor, the Falcon, the Dragon, the Lion is here. Uso, Uso, You're half Ibo and half. Because she's like, because I start singing, this girl gets excited. She is my natural tribe. Okay, so half Ibo, half Rivers. I'm you not know, sick. <laughs> no, they're You're so annoying. And then, <laughs> come on, guys. And Sorry. Then, explain yeah. about your wife so people can understand why you can relate to this dilemma. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. So, my wife, she's um, fully Yoruba. So, mm-hmm. And you know, Yoruba people, of, you, guys very, yeah. you guys are very. You guys are very. But you chose well. No, yeah. I, no. And she, yeah, no, of so course. the girls, we can. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, of course I chose well. But yeah, when you're getting married to someone yeah. and you're marrying into their family and their culture, it's a be- as we always say, yeah. it's a beautiful thing. But it does come with his nooks and crannies where yeah. you have to, yeah. you know, as I, bruv, as I said, it gave me PTSD when they said they're speaking in Europe, uh, Europe <laughs> around her. Because yeah. me, I'm just there, I'm looking like this, like, Damn. what are you guys talking about? You know Damn. what I mean? But, yeah. tough, I you know what, let's start from the beginning with that dilemma. Yeah. So first of all, she actually said that they hadn't actually met the parents before. Yeah. Yeah. So what is you guys' opinions on that? I, I guess I'll quickly start first. So I've always said that, like, I'm a very big, like, family person. So yeah. the person that I'm with, like, has to meet my family. Like, yeah. And you have, yeah. my, my parents have to feel like they know you well and all that sort <laughs> You guys are jarring. Sorry! <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> um, so that's like, yeah, that just has to be like a really cool thing for me. Like, it's really important. Um, mm-hmm. And I f- have to feel that from the other side as well. Like, I yeah. want, I think it's even, a, I would be concerned yeah. if I, like, my boyfriend or doesn't like want to invite me to Question. family events or anything like that or let, let me meet them. Um, especially like, to be fair, I get it in the beginning stages, but like as you start to develop like poor feelings and like a lot of your friends and like people know that this is your partner, like why is it mm-hmm. you're hiding? Because mm-hmm. I feel like when we were younger, we always say, oh no, like, nah, nah, nah. Like, until you, it's proper yeah, serious. Until it's like proper, proper, proper. But that proper serious, like, I feel like our parents are open to the idea that you might not get it right the first time and things can go mm-hmm. wrong and it's okay. Like, I feel mm-hmm. like before we always have this opinion that your parents are going to be like, no, you're with them. You have to stay with them and that's it. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think? Um, For me, I would love for my partner to meet not just my parents, but also my family, like yeah. my brothers <clears throat> and like my extended family, like my family that are close yeah. to me. Yeah. Um, I feel like Sometimes like your friends and your family know you better than you know yourself. And also like when you're dating someone and you really like someone, sometimes you're a little bit clouded oh, well, in yeah. your judgment. Yeah. yeah. So- <laughs> I'm just screaming. Pass me water. Yeah. Go yeah, yeah, sure. Mistakes happen, um, sure. So I feel like it's important, not just because I want them to get along, obviously, that's important, but mm. also I want them to have an opinion of the person before I find myself engaged to someone and then it's like, we don't like this person. Mm. Because for me... I feel like I'd find that really tough. Like if my parents didn't get on with my partner or vice mm. versa, like mm. that his parents didn't get on with me. I don't really know. Like basically the vision I have of like my marriage and my future home is kind of crushed because yeah. I see it as a blended family. I yeah. see it as like his mum being my mum and vice yeah, versa. Yeah, yeah. Do you get yeah. what I mean? So I feel like it's important basically. Yeah. yeah. What about you guys? Junior, what do you think? Um, well, when did your... Sorry to cut you. Mm. When did your... When Mom and meet. dad meet, yeah, your wife. Yeah, so we basically like six months in. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so when we first started. Okay, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so on our six month date when I went to, I met, I, I met was, her Of parents. course it's true. No, 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 I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking of something else because we spoke about when you guys' parents met. Oh, parents met. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I don't know when that was. Mm. Yeah, so we, I met her parents, Um. yeah, six months in. Okay. So I just went to their house before we went on the date. Very nervous, you know, yeah. grabbed wines, gave to the dad. To dad. Mm. As soon as, basically, as soon as when I met them and her dad kind of stood next to me and measured his, how tall he is against me, yeah. I was like, okay, yeah. He's a joker. They're, they're, yeah. 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 We're, we're yeah. cool, innit? Yeah. And then obviously she met my parents in um, six months in as well, so. Okay, that's yeah. the same. So it's around the same time? Yeah, around about the same period, yeah. though. Because nice. I think 
and I do understand what you're saying about about being serious. Yeah. But it's like when you uh, look, in my opinion, when you know, you know, in it. Yeah. And it's like you want to oh, make so you sure you actually believe cool. in that because okay, context. We, we spoke. This. Of, yeah. In we, I don't know if you mentioned Junior's story, but basically, oh, in the pod. Right? Yeah, but yeah. Repeat I was going to say for people that don't ago. know. So when Junior met his wife, they was in they were in uni, and I think it was like the first day. Yeah, they were studying the same course. Yeah, yeah. And essentially, we had a party, like a uh, Viva Hall party, which used to go during on in the freshers, Midlands. So yeah. During freshers, so very, very early. Like, times. how many weeks were you in? Because I had just started the day. Yeah, so yeah, you had just started. I yeah. think I was in my first week. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, no, it went about. So we started. I met her on the twenty first of September. Okay. Wow. Um, and, and then that Viva Hall party was like first week in October, like, maybe like the third of October. Yeah, or something exactly. Like that. Yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah. a week and a bit, yeah. right? Um, so mm. yeah, we and we yeah. knew Junior from back at home. So we saw him at Viva Hall party. And day I, ones, or please don't, <laughs> please tell them day ones. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, day one, exactly. day one So too. we were at Viva Hall party, and I remember this so clearly. We were mm. sitting down at the table, and Junior comes like over to us, sits down, we're just gisting, and he's like, guys. You know, we're just like, oh. And it was like, <laughs> no, legit. First of all, there was not like, enough space at the table. Yeah, so I was like, like bro. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah. 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 Literally, literally. And then he was like, nah, guys, like, I've actually met my wife. And I can't lie to you, for, you know when you just, you and just, he just got to, to uni? I'm thinking, bro, man, you just got to uni. <laughs> like, let's move. Like, let's move. Like, move. Yeah, literally, that's, that's what I thought. But you know, you're just like, oh, is it? Yeah. Hey, yeah. I, I think he's nice. called me as well. Because I obviously, I was still in college. I didn't yeah. text me. Oh, I think I found my, I think I found my phone. <laughs> 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 your phone, you're already trying to marry down. I haven't even seen the old campus. That's how it is. Um, obviously, it's funny how everything kind of turned out yeah. uh, to be the case, but um, yeah, I feel like that context was also quite yeah. important yeah. to know. Um, okay, cool. So, we've discussed the parents thing. So, but what about Tammy? Oh, sorry, what's yeah, what's your in view about the whole like meeting parents and how, yeah, um, how important is that I'm to you? I'm very family orientated, like, mm. my family are like. We're just yeah. We're always together. Like we're just yeah. We just are a family unit. So if anyone that I'm <laughs> dating, they have to be even dating. Even so like, like before yeah, relationships. Even before, like you have to understand. You have to be with it. Like my parents are very like cool as well. So it's not like it's not like they're not understanding. They're not understanding yeah. of things as well. So hundred percent, you have to try and fit in and be with my family. So mm. and. My family's not approval, but I would like them to be along with me on like the, mm-hmm. the whole journey and stuff. Like I don't want to mm-hmm. be five years down and oh guys, here's my husband. Here, come on, come on. No, no, yeah, no. yeah. So yeah, yeah I, I'm. I just I think it's very important for your partner to meet your family. Yeah. Not telling them to meet them on the first day, but definitely if you see yourself going the long term, then definitely yeah. as soon as possible, but not too early. Okay, yeah. cool, yeah. That's true, actually. I feel like you maybe should give... A, I love how I'm basically directing you to yeah. give the example of... You know, you had said that you you had gone through a relationship where you met them too... Where you introduced them too early to your parents yeah. and you regretted it. What, yeah. what was that? like? Just give people a bit of context as to why that So was the case. I just felt like it was just a bit premature. Okay. Because... I think that we, I was still quite young and I'm still trying to find myself, but then I'm also with being with someone as well and I'm yeah. still trying to find myself. So I'm still, I'm still like navigating. Like I don't, I didn't really know myself like I was in like second year uni. Yeah. So it's kind of like, I just felt like I just kind of like rushed into it. Like, you know, you get excited. Yeah. Yeah. But really and truly, like I just needed to take time. Like I needed to like, I think I don't know. It's, it's, it's you, well, so you know, Junior. Obviously, Junior did this in his first year of uni, but yeah. he said that he, when you know, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so you saying at that point you didn't actually no, know. Just you were just know, going with the vibes. Like I said, because my my family are really literally like my everything. So it's yeah. kind of like it was. I I use that as oh no, you have to like you have to come and meet my family. Like, yeah. You have to, like. You have to be it. Like you have yeah. to be. You also, have to sometimes when you're excited, it's just kind of like, oh, I just want to share this with yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And that's yeah. how. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how. That's how I felt at the time. But I think definitely in that situation, it was definitely premature. Mm. I should have probably waited a bit longer, like to know the person I was with a bit longer and things mm. like yeah. that. Yeah. And um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 For real. Yeah, okay. Cool. Is 2020, so. It's true. It's true. Okay. So now let's discuss the mother-in-law. 
situation. Yeah. So I feel like you mentioned Sharon, we are Yoruba. So like we can uh understand that <laughs> when it comes to like cultural stuff, we're very much like, especially with weddings. I don't know what it is about weddings. Mm-hmm. And I think um actually you know what I'm not even gonna talk about her because yeah. Anyways, Ooh. some people are basically someone <laughs> really? basically you know, you know what I'm gonna say. I think you know you know I'm gonna say someone had mentioned that um you know how other pe- like people might be flashy or like we we try we say that we're not like flashy people per se, but when it comes to wedding, that's when we really oh, right. that's really when we shine, like, shine oh, out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. that's why for some parents, can I just ask a question? Is that a Nigerian thing or is that a Yoruba thing? No, it's it's, it's definitely a Nigerian thing because okay. even people even, are, even people are flashy. flashy as well. Yeah, so I've seen my mom. Okay, like, so that's just a bit flashy. Thing. But yeah. however, as no agenda though. Yeah. But, Yoruba people But it comes to weddings though You lot are The thing is right there Mm. Yoruba people are just so proud of their culture I think that is legit The beginning and the end of the story And so because of that It's like Everybody must experience this culture I don't really know how else But do you not think it's overbearing though? Well I'm not really Yoruba So I don't know It's not really overbearing it's, but that's what like, part of it? What part no, of it so would be overbearing? Of course, you're proud and you're happy about your culture, yeah, yeah. which is good. But when you're trying to put your culture onto someone else, like the the dilemma, okay. so yeah. now you're taking away Sierra Leone, who might have a beautiful and rich culture themselves. Yeah, yeah I just think that sometimes yeah, Yoruba people they just have tunnel vision and all they know is their own, yeah, yeah. their own yeah. culture. And what also, I was going to say is, what I was going to say is, well, this is when I knew that Yoruba people <laughs> think that they that they. I think I know what you're going to say. Like. They don't know anything about any other cult, like any other tribe. Mm. Like I asked my dad, um, what did I ask him? No, he was like, oh, like when you're greeting someone, like when you're, you know, when you've Dobale. been an elder, you're Dobalin or you're mm-hmm. is Gertzi or whatever. Mm. He was like, oh yes, yeah, a Nigerian thing. I was like, no, no it's, it's not. not. It's it, not. It, 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 hold on, player. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's not a Nigerian yeah, thing. Legit. It's, it's a, a Yoruba, Yoruba thing. thing. Yeah. Like yeah. Igbo people don't do that. Edo people don't do that. Delta mm. people don't do that. So it's mm. kind of like. They kind of think that their culture is nine. That's nine. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. Nigerian yeah, way. But it's yeah, kind yeah, of like no, it's not the Nigerian way. What it's I thought you were way. actually gonna say is mm. that I think it's a little bit mad that <laughs> it's a little bit mad that the mum is saying this because in Yoruba culture you follow the Just tradition the, of, of the, the wife. Right. Exactly. So yeah. it's very mad yeah. that she's now trying to convert it into yeah. oh, you guys don't Never have a culture like from yeah. hell. Yeah. Yeah. Oh goodness. Yeah. Yeah. What were you gonna say? No, I was gonna say as well. I don't know whether this is. Has anything to do with it Because Again I think it's weak. I, I find it, I can't really talk about it mm. Because all I know is Yoruba, Yoruba, Yoruba. Yeah. But I was even just going to say Like Lagos as the hub mm-hmm. Which I don't actually know Whether it is the hub For other people Because some people Will go to Nigeria And never touch Lagos Because mm. they'll be trying Or they might touch I don't know if they touch think, the airport yeah, and they go up or they have I think been up Abuja and, and Lagos yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think there are Obviously don't shoot me But I think there are more Ibo people in Abuja than Lagos, no? I have no idea. This, let me not even let talk me, about it. This is this. what I've heard, Chad. Yeah, I let me know. not talk about it. But I think not even just the Lagos so. scene, not even just the Lagos scene, but like even just like music, even just like so, there's so many different aspects that like we are, um, like not, I don't want to say unfortunately, but we are just quite dominant in that it I impacts think, yeah, the, I think everyone else. Yoruba people definitely dominate We're the major- mu- majority. No, yeah. And that's, actually, it's a numbers thing as well, to be quite yeah, frank. Yeah, we are the majority. No, so it's just kind of like, yeah, it just gets, it's kind of like talking about the UK and then being like, oh, English people. And it's like the Welsh are just like, oh, da, da, da. but it's like, yeah, but English people are the majority. So it's yeah. kind of like, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's just, it's Yoruba, it, it can, I can understand how it can look. Overbearing, but when you've been in, when you've been around it for so long, is that's just that's just who you that's are. That's just how it is. Even yeah. the way we talk, everything's loud. Blah, 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 yeah. You know, and even like like we said, the wedding is like it's so it's much. Like, it's like yeah. yeah, they don't want you to spend your money on anything, but the wedding they're fine to blow up. Yeah. No, yeah. 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 Bang, in fact, bro. death if you can. No, yeah. Yeah. no literally don't even give a damn. <laughs> That's so funny. But okay, so let's yeah. let's say that you did have, and obviously you can talk about your experience, but also just imagine yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah. Let's say you had a mother-in-law that was like that. Would you be doing the exact same thing and be truthful and imagine yourself, you're happy with your relationship, you're about to get married, and now you've got a mother-in-law that is basically doing all that and basically turn like toning down your own culture because of hers. How are you okay? Are you doing what she's doing and pausing it? 
and be real. Are you actually doing it? Hmm. What I should do and what I will do. <laughs> <laughs> Those are two very different <laughs> things. Because Why? me, I'll be heart broken yeah. to mm. have to like call off my wedding. But mm. genuinely, like I said before, I feel like this is just a microcosm into what the rest of your life is going to look like. Yeah. Unless this woman changes, I think it's just going to honestly, like Junior has been saying, it's just going to be hell. Yeah. Because I just... This is not somebody who likes you. Yeah. She's just called you and asked you, well, as you're wearing your wedding dress. She, like the fact that she even brought her mother-in-law, future mother-in-law to the wedding, to the dress yeah, thing. I think that's quite yeah. nice. Yeah. You, know? you don't have to yeah. be there. Yeah. You don't have to be there. Like, you don't yeah. have to be there at all. First of all, you don't even like me. So it's like, why am I even? And then she even invited you on top and then you're calling her, you're telling her she looks like a prostitute and that the that's way that her body. That's mad. That's mad. You gotta say that you should still go ahead with the wedding. She has no respect. Grandma. The grandma was there. Wait, the grandma was the there. The grandma was so, there. Wait, one, two, two generations. <laughs> Bro, she, she does not care. Friends, <laughs> man. And wait, wait let's, the let's boyfriend. Deep. Just, just, said, said, just said that. The fiance. Oh, let's not try to bring it down. You said that, oh, you guys um, are like, you know, she's just opinionated. Please. Like you. Sister, I'm looking into the camera. It's. <laughs> Please, fin- just please. Let it go. <laughs> let it go. Please. Okay, but are you? Because are you you're, saying, you're saying let it go. The only, the only, only thing, thing that can work, like I think it would actually get to a point where it's gonna have to be me or her, child. Yeah. I think it's gonna no, get there. Yeah, it. It it's gonna to. get there. No, I think to. because, because the thing is, even in this, like I know that we're thinking that this is just so small. But you have to think about what it's actually going to be like in the future. Oh, no. He does you. not have a backbone. He yeah. has not patterned his mind. I was going to say that. And that's the problem. Yeah, that's when it I comes gonna... to the kids now, yes. and the mum is saying, I want this to be, um, don't lay Malachi down on his back. <laughs> lay him down on the front. Or be, don't yeah. lay him on the front. Lay him on the back. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. I've had however many children. Yeah. I can do what I want. Yeah. And then the, and then the, your husband will just be like, yeah, you know what? Well, she's opinionated. Like, yeah, it. like no. No, I'm telling you, even as the guy, bro, stand up. Yeah. What are you doing? Stand up. Because the thing is, we've, with mother-in-laws, yeah. Yeah. And because there's always gonna be mother in Father, fathers don't really say much. Yeah, they yeah, never yeah. No, but, but this is the thing my father's. Ask your mom. No, 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 no. Behind no, the scenes, no, they'll talk. Behind the scenes, this is yeah, 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 yeah. talk about that because you know that all men will do, they'll go and speak to their wife and say, eh, uh-huh. I don't like the way that she was, eh, man. I don't like the way she was, eh, man. And then you know, and then when it comes to setting, eh. Yeah, no, they're fake still. But, but like with the mother-in-law, and in my situation, yeah, mm. and what I'll say to this uh woman, basically, if it's if it's like this now and your man hasn't done anything for he's you right now, he's never going to do it. It's gonna be a fight between you, you your mother-in-law, your man's just gonna be watching or taking mm. the mother-in-law's side. Please, sis, or mm. more, please. I can only beg you <laughs> if you don't want because bro when children come you're yeah. gonna clash when wedding if, bro the wedding's not even here yet. the wedding's yeah. not even yeah, here yeah. Yeah. The, the you can engage for yeah. six months oh, yeah. when it's time oh. to be caught when it's time and she's even saying forget your culture you're yeah. supposed to go to the woman's side bro. she's saying forget Sierra Leone what does yeah. that even mean no, no. it's mad I feel like no, she's actually she, she will be, she sounds like the type of woman that'll be like Mm-mm, my grandchild can't have any Yoruba um, can't have any Sierra Leone no name, name no, is Yoruba bro yeah yeah. Bro, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. That, it's deep, bro. Yeah. If you want your life to continue to continue like this, I'm gonna stay with him. If you like, it's your business. <laughs> like, it's tough though. Yeah. But what did the friend say again? Because I remember yeah. thinking I disagree with that. Yeah, the friend. No, said she was basically saying that. Um, the friends, the friends do said, disagree. No, they. She said they, no. She said they understand. What okay, she's they understand. Saying, wait, wait, but wait, let they me say, see. They said she said that the friends. No, 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 no. Look, look. She said. I've decided to put a pause on the wedding plans as it's making me upset and I'm just having yeah, serious doubt. My fr- my girls agree with me. Yeah, they agree with but her. They, that's what I'm saying. They, they but agree, well, agree but that they, they are Nigerian. Yeah. Like, so they can understand that Nigerian mothers can be quite overbearing. Nah. That's what it was. Is that what she said? That's yeah. what she said. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. want to take over. Yeah. I mean, I can't understand it. Like, mm-hmm. I, I get it. But at the same time, like, I, I just don't think that's an excuse. Do you know no, what? I, 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 I'm, I'm not saying that she's saying that it's an excuse, but, or that they're saying that it's an excuse. But, no, but it's like, it's like, if I'm coming to you and I'm saying that, oh, my boyfriend's mom is doing this, this, and that, you guys would be like, eh, no, you know how Nigerian mom, moms can be. Mm. That's what you guys yeah, would that's say. What I'm saying, I mean, you, that's what you would no, say. I, can't yeah, like I, you, I would say that, too. but you, I think that's I'd be like, that's completely uh-huh. that's, that's, I would be saying that I hope that your partner no, is patterning. exactly. And I think that that is what is fundamental, like across this whole situation, Bro. is that if you Bro. are able to pattern your parents, like, and at the end of the day, your parents as well, they need to be. Exactly, basically, but pattern in the sense that 
when you tell them to stand down, like, and you give your opinion, this is what we're doing. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah. And all, that's the, all t- the back talk, all the back talk, all of that gets silenced. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what the impact you should have. I on think your that's going to be tough for a lot of people, especially Nigerian Yoruba people. Yes. It's because. We everything in Nigerian culture is rude. Yeah, like and you, look, the, you look a certain they die way on the hill of respect. Yeah. No, yeah. legit. So yeah. like, no one, on not hill a lot of people respect. have had the opportunity to even to, open it, to yeah. do that with their parents. Yeah, but you need so to. So now you want them oh, to that like, all of no, a sudden. No, you need to start from early. You need to yeah. start from early. Forget, you, forget uh, even getting into a relationship. You need to start planning your parents from now. Yeah, sometimes I have to tell. That's not right. Yeah, you have. You're wrong. You're wrong. Yeah, like like like. One time I have to tell my please. It's not rude if I tell you that you're wrong. Yeah, yeah. it's true. It's not rude. Like yeah. at the end of the day, I'm not, not I'm not correcting you. Yeah. I'm just telling you that it's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Take that as you will. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you can be wrong. Yeah, literally. Yeah. You can be wrong, mom. Yeah. Like you one can thing be wrong, that dad. one <laughs> thing you can be wrong. It's fine. One thing yeah. that Nigerians do, yeah, that is just so jarring. It's like. Like if, say for example, like your mum or your dad or your auntie or something, they said that you've done something a certain way, but you legit have not done that. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. I didn't do that. Ah, so I'm lying. Yeah, exactly. And it's, it's like, crazy. now what am I supposed to say? Like, yeah, you're no, you know what? You're yeah. I can't lie. I'd say yes though. <laughs> but no, because back in the day, yeah, my mum's told me this since I was young. Like I had a child mind and she was, I forgot, she's Nigerian auntie, yeah? Yeah. And there was one time, apparently when I was in like year two, I must have told her she was wrong in something. Mm. And that I was like, I not stuck it on her, but I told her off in it. At two. No, no. <laughs> you said yeah. from not, yeah. two, not two. Yeah. Sorry, year two. Oh, year two. Yeah, you did yeah. say year two. Oh, you said year two. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Since, so since then, I've been very outspoken with okay. how I am. Yeah. I'm out, sometimes, yeah, people will find it rude, but if I don't like something, I'll yeah. say it how it is. Yeah. And that's how it's coming with my, my what's it called? Is it in-laws? Yeah. With my in-laws. Yeah. Because because with me and my mum, she, she's allowed me to... Be, you know, free of how I speak. Yeah. Obviously, I won't take the mic. Yeah. But I'll tell her when I'm upset about something. I tell her mm-hmm. how it is. Yeah. So it now be. that's come with in laws now, and yeah. obviously they've gotten used to how I am as well. Yeah. But then there's even sometimes I'll say something like, I think one time, um, we were late to doing Malachi's dedication. Yeah. And um, Abby's mom must have been saying, "Oh, we would have come on time, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. Mm. And I was like, "That doesn't make any sense." Okay. And then she got annoyed with me saying that was rude. I was like, "How?" Me saying something doesn't make sense. Yeah. That is not rude. Yeah. Hey, hey, no, hey, no. Hey, <laughs> hey, but like, so I don't no, 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 don't mind them. Everything is rude when they just no, don't. True. Uh, just say Do you know what it is though as well? It's our, like, because we're British as yeah. well, there's just, there's a lot of clashing. Yeah. yeah because I, yeah, saying, on. like, bro, people tell me at work all the time stuff don't make sense. Yeah, you know I mean, mean I think a blink an eye. Like, at this bro, point, this don't make sense. Like, yeah. that, that is just a thing. But God, I was having this conversation, like, um, my cousins <laughs> were around, um, like, two weeks ago, last week, I remember. Mm. And we were having, like, a conversation. Like, we had, like, other people come to the house as well. So there was a lot of Nigerians in the building. Mm. <laughs> cool. So I don't know what happens. There always seems to be this conversation of about... Course. Nigerians oh, have a debate. Our generation versus uh, their generation. Mm. I'm even tired of the goddamn conversation. Mm. So basically, a lot of the things that we say, they find food, like... God forbid you call, you call elders you guys. You know, you'll be like, oh, you oh, guys. That's what yeah. well. And I'm just like, yeah. we are your guys. We're not your mates. We're not your mates. I'm thinking, no, we're not saying it like that. Yeah, it's, yeah. Just it's, a it's just the culture. Like, we, even at work, you'll be like, oh, you guys. Like, everything yeah. is you guys, you guys, you guys. But yeah. in their head, they're thinking that we're making a conscious effort to minimize to like, them. To, to, yeah. to, yeah. Make, to yeah. make it seem like we're trying well, to disrespect. The, yeah. And it's like, no, we're not trying to disrespect. Yeah. We're just trying to, and then another point. And it's so funny because they'll say you people. It's you people, yeah. not worse than you guys. guys literally. <laughs> Why are you saying <laughs> You people need to hurry up. You people, I'm like, um, we're not just you people on the road. Like, you know what I mean? I'm and not then, lying. And then another thing as well is that what a, a conversation that we're having with them as well. Like, I don't really think that they understand the. I think we spoke about this before. They don't really understand the um, what the struggles that we have had, like trying to navigate mm. Nigerian culture and, and British, British culture. Yeah, yeah. Like, I literally don't. threw a question out to them. I was like, "Have you guys?" When you were growing up, when you went to school, did you ever experience racism? Hmm. Then my, Good question. Then my auntie was like, yeah, but we were bullied in school. I oh said, my no. days. Wrong I question. Said, no. <laughs> I said, no. I said, why is it? Whenever we try to say our issues, you guys will come in with a backhand slide and try and diminish, yeah. diminish what, what we're saying. Yeah. I'm asking. 
fucking you <laughs> did you experience <laughs> racism growing up when you were in school? Yeah. Is yes or no? Yeah, yeah you'll be rude. Oh! Nigerians is yeah. just in itself. It's a lot. Yeah, 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 but yeah. particularly Eurobars as well. Let's be oh. real. So, with this dilemma, like I feel like I understand completely how you're feeling. Um, but I think the what I think is the issue is actually not the mother-in-law. I think the issue is your is your partner. Yeah, yeah sure. and he if he is able to pattern his mum. And actually, you guys have a conversation about the comment he made where he said that, oh, you guys are the same people or whatever mm-hmm, it is mm-hmm. what he's trying to do. It's basically, you know, when people say, oh, I, I know someone that's, oh, you're racist. Oh, no, but my cat is, my neighbor's, my neighbor's uh, black. This is not a situation yeah, like my that. Cat like, is black. <laughs> my cat is black as well. Um, this is not those sort of situations. Like, you mm, need to, yeah. he needs to have a serious conversation with his yeah, mum. But yeah. before that, he needs to understand that you are feeling a certain type of way, which obviously I'm coping that this, Move that you've made has actually registered in his mind like, bruh, okay, this like she actually must be proper upset if she wants mm-hmm. to put a pause to the wedding planning. Mm-hmm. Um, but he needs to believe that that is the right way to go about it because yeah. it's not this can't be a one-off situation where he's just okay, cool, let me just tell my mom to stop and then she stops, she stops just with the wedding stuff because it's gonna mm-hmm. appear mm-hmm. else like another time down the line. So I would say that I think you're right, but I think rather than putting your energy towards the mother, because like your friends have explained, and we can also relate, like. People just in general, when it comes to Yoruba culture, they can be very, very like opinionated. They can be very in yeah. your face. They can be very dominant. But the role is within your family, you should be able to pattern it. So yeah. I think put your energy towards your partner and start having the conversation with him about it mm-hmm. and get him to start building <coughs> those kind of principles where he's like, mom can't lie. This is how it is going forward. Like mm-hmm. we've agreed on this. You're going to have to deal with it. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Um, Because it seems like he's even wishy-washing himself. He's he's kind of fine mm. to even put the Eurobus stuff on and d- d- like would dash her one to the side as well since she's yeah. like coming. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that is very, very peak. Wow. Mm. What a dilemma, boy. Yeah. Ciao. Definitely one we can all relate to. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, thank you. Uh, for sending that in And yeah Welcome back guys To another episode Of the BTS podcast You are joined By your lovely host Beatrice Tammy And Sharon And we have Well we've already Introduced yeah, you Yeah we've introduced A returner and, A returner and Special guest Pew, Pew, Special Pew, guest Pew, man Pew. Come on Come on um, Yeah it's Junior guys um, <laughs> Let them know Where they can find you Now actually um, Yeah no So Junior oh, I don't even know My Instagram is Junior Allah, Allah, yeah, underscore. underscore. You tag, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you tag us, yeah. and then obviously, um, we'll do a pod with my boy Ken. Cheers. Called Ooh. Don't Tell My Wife podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Don't worry, he does speak to his wife. <laughs> no. He's not hiding anything yeah. from his wife. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's just a pod. So me and my boy Ken, both fathers, both um husbands, and we just have a pod about just. Stuff we do in our day to day lives. Yeah. Very yeah, interesting man. perspective. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I, really, yeah. I really, really enjoy it. Yeah. 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 Right, shout out you guys, man. I Come appreciate on. you guys for bringing me on. Come on. As a returner. Come on. Bro, as Come I said, on. like, bro, episode 39, we we're just, I was me, I just remember being in my shorts. My room yeah, recording yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Remember, I was on the Bro, yeah, I'm telling you, man. I sorting out my... No, I think studio. I sorting out my makeup just <laughs> speaking at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> you know no, what I mean? And you can see the growth, like, even in my personal life of Getting married yeah. and doing all that stuff in the personal life of you yeah. guys and the growth changed, in this man. pod, like yeah, everything's changed. Levels don't change. And like honestly, really. like I gotta give you guys your flowers, man, because you guys have really been doing your thing. Thanks, and even thanks. then, as well, like as, as I said to like these two when they came, Shan, you're yet to come and see my child. Yeah, sorry, yeah, I'm, on, I was... I'm on you. Boy, I'm that that jet lag. Yeah, no, 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 was sleeping, boy. Oh boy, I was in a deep sleep. But like. You guys have been like there for like every big moment crazy. of my life, yeah. which is crazy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So you know crazy. what I mean? So no, I appreciate you guys. Come man. on, come Honestly, on. Honestly, we're pleasure. happy to have you here, man. For real, for real. No, pleasure. Really um, it. cool. So now what we do, we tend to do uh kind of rating your week, rating your mental, and we took that from horror boys, because yeah, we like to take stuff from other people that we like. <laughs> is what it is, man. Um, so yeah, I guess we're just for time purposes, we'll just ask Junior really. Um yeah. how has your week been? Like if you had to rate your mental out of you know, hey. one to ten, what would it be? Um, um this week mm. I'd say I'd give it a seven or eight. Okay, okay that's, that's good. good. That's good. That's, yeah, good. that's, that's good. good. Sorry, okay. that's good. Obviously, the, you know, my wife's on maternity leave currently, so yeah. the pressure's on me in it. But yeah. 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 the pressure's yeah. on. Yeah. But um, other than that, like yeah, Saturday saw a couple of my people from secondary school. Yeah, everyone's leveled up. Like 
it's good to you know catch up with people. Mm. Um, and obviously it's bank holiday, isn't it? So yeah, you guys are well, uh, two two of the three <laughs> <laughs> on, on 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 Monday, yeah, and yeah, yeah, no, it was good. And then obviously I was with Ken and that on Monday with our kids as well. Oh nice! Yeah, I went to Blue Water. Um, okay. Bro, with the wives as well. Yeah, yeah, with the Aww. wives. But like, bro, can't lie. Going out with kids, yeah. Jesus Boy, Lord, bro. You have ah! to prepare. God. <laughs> you have to. God. It is, it's, a, it's a challenge in itself, but, but it's beautiful memories. Yeah, yeah. Memories. When, when, when um, we went to Junior's house on Monday, <laughs> that was my contraception. Boy. <laughs> really? Boy. 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 Tammy was acting like she ain't never seen a child. Bro. Which I was like, God damn. Tammy was just looking at <laughs> I was like... like <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, that's cool that everyone's good. I think, yeah, I mean, you we've already know? done it. Yeah, we? exactly. Cool. So now next segment is song of the week. So each week we add a song to our playlist. Um, and as you guys know, we refresh the playlist from the last episode. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys check it out. And obviously our, all the details are there, so you should be able to find it. Um, but yeah, Junior, do you want to add anything to our playlist? Um, you know what? When I was on my way here, I was trying to think of what to add. Mm. Okay. Um, but I'll go with Grey Shift by One Ason. Okay. Oh. I really like that. Song. Wait, you you that I ain't listened to One Ason in time. I've listened to it, but um, is it a I think he drew it this year. No, didn't, I did. he, oh, didn't he just drop something? Yeah, I didn't even know the guy was still making music. Like, can't lie, like, it gave oh, right. me odd One Ace and Vibes. So oh, I love that. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna nah, like, it's proper still. And also, um, Gabsy, hear me out. I like okay. that. Okay, yeah, we like, like a little, we like a little. Uh, Gabsy. I don't know. I was gonna say, it's not, is it Afro Swing? I told me Afro Swing. Why are you always trying to give? I don't know. I'm trying to give genre. Yeah, I'm really bad. I'm so bad at that. UK music. Yeah, man. Do you guys want to add anything? I don't know. I'm still looking. Um, I can add something. So. Um, a song I'm going to add to the playlist is Quarter Past Three, Fredo. Fee- hey, I keep on Why talking about it. Do? No, guys, you know my phone is bugging. Like, even if I don't press anything. <laughs> See, yeah, that's look, her phone, she needs Can a new one. Can you turn it off? Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I'll turn it off in a second. <laughs> There's copyright claims. <laughs> that's true. Bro. It's true. Whole um, video yeah, is Quarter Past Three. It's Fredo featuring Eric the Fourth. I listen to um, it, yeah. Eric yeah. the Fourth. Yeah, yeah. there's always I, I, new artists. Boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, people like, come like, on, yeah, yeah, man. No, I'm on. just like, wow, I can't keep up, boy. I'm so no, done. Right. So that I'm gonna add that, and then actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch up a bit and add a gospel song. Ooh. I'm gonna add "Come In" featuring the Walls, not featuring "Come In" by the Walls Group. Um, it's actually not like a newish song, but. Yeah, I really like that song. Um, and yeah, those God. Song. yeah, man, hallelujah. So yeah, we'll add those songs. Oh, you want to add something now? Oh yes, please. Oh, go on then. Um, so I'm gonna add Bombay actually after okay. we spoke about it last episode. That yeah. was a Beatrice and I. Oh. We did not stop we, playing. Is that what two or seven? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, Bombay. Imagine this is the code to the playlist. <laughs> Listening to come in there. This my Bombay. Yeah, Bombay. Yeah. Bombay. <laughs> Bombay. It's a tune. No, I can't help boy, it. Boy. Oh, yeah, that was a bad one. Oh, it reminds me of Dubai. Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Dubai, yes. Yeah. We so love that tune. Wow. Boy. Anyway. Yeah, yeah man. But um, yeah, cool. So those are all the songs we're going to add to the playlist. Make sure you guys check it out. Um, all the details, again, is going to be in the description of the YouTube video. It's also in all our bios in the link tree. <laughs> Scroll down to the bottom. <laughs> And you will see Apple Music and you'll see Spotify playlist links. And yeah, hopefully you guys can vibe along, add the songs to your own playlist or vibe along to our one from beginning to end and enjoy yourselves. So yeah, that's the playlist. Um, Cool. So we jump to... Jump to where? Oh, sorry. I've been jumping, jumping, but there's nowhere else to jump. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, the topic was actually going to be what we've already we started to discuss. discuss. <laughs> so, <laughs> unless you have any other points. <laughs> And I still feel like there's a lot of um, things to talk about. And maybe actually it will slightly touch on stuff that we touched on when I think you came on the pod. Because I feel like we spoke about relationships yeah. as well when yeah. Junior came on. Um, but I guess maybe just like just to keep on expanding on this whole situation. 
Maybe, Junior, if you can give a bit more context, because I think for me, the reason why I feel like I actually know a bit more about your situation or just like just generally how your experience has been Mm -hmm. blending two families is because of your podcast and the recent episode. So guys, we'll probably put the link. I'll put the link in the YouTube description so you guys can check it out so you can find out a bit more. But I guess if you had to give advice to someone like your group, your, it's only you. I don't know how many people are married. How no, many of um, you? in my group, just me and Ken. Okay, and cool. Ken. So, and the rest, some of them are relationships, some of them yeah, aren't, right? Yeah, some yeah, of them yeah, are engaged. Some are ones engaged. Yeah, yeah exactly. Them. So, what would you say, like, is one of, like, maybe the biggest thing that you did not think would happen or you didn't anticipate about, you know, actually taking it to the stage of marriage and, like, the whole marriage life? And, yeah, what would that be? If you had to give that to one of your friends, particularly from a, like a male's perspective. Yeah. Um, I think the biggest shock that I've had is definitely to do with in-laws okay. and mm. planning stuff. Okay. So when we was planning the wedding, there was a lot of back and forth about mm. certain yeah. things. Yeah. Obviously two different tribes, right? So, it's, yeah. you know, it's always going to, it's bound to happen. Yeah. However, I think obviously there's culture involved, but as I said to you guys before as well, it's definitely to do with personalities as well. Because yeah. sometimes, you know, we everyone. There is a thing about Yoruba people wanting to do something massive and have a big party, but not all Yoruba people are like that. Most, mm. so, some Ibo people are like that as well. But Abby's mom, she kind of really wanted to have like a big. Okay, so this perfect example. So our traditional, yeah, mm. and why the invites were different, yeah. <laughs> so we were supposed to have a a bigger. Our traditional was supposed to be our white wedding, basically. Okay. So all the numbers for the traditional was supposed to go to the white wedding. Okay. For like reception, all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. So our traditional hall was like not. A big hall. It's a very small hall in like Romford. Okay. Yeah. So we, that was how it was planned. So obviously, us, you know, how excited we are. We yeah. sent out all the invites. We had them. We were searching for another traditional hall because I think that one fell through. Okay. And Abby's mom saw the one that we ended up going with that, mm. that she liked. And obviously, my mom was there. Abby's mom was there. Me and um, me and Abs were there. Mm. And we were just like, oh, okay. So what are they thinking about the home? I was like, ah, I think we should keep it smaller, less mm. money. Um, traditional doesn't have to be big. Let's just let them get married. And uh, and Abby's mom was like, no, I want this hall. <laughs> well, as soon as she said that, I just said, Jesus, is no. Like, this is this is about getting me PTSD, bro. <laughs> but like, after she said that, I was just like, okay, here we go, in it? Yeah. And yeah. then next thing is now, it's not even about whether who wants what. It's like, oh, Abby's mom was just like, I'll pay the difference. It's fine. So, mm. And she and I was like, oh, if you want to pay the difference, then <laughs> be my guest. Yeah. But then my mom put, felt a type of way yeah, about it. Because you know what I mean? I didn't think about yeah. that, you know. I didn't think about that at the time. But yeah. I was like, bro, she said she's going to pay it. Then let her yeah. pay it. But like, your mum was kind of like, she wanted it to be small. Yeah. It's not about yeah. the money. It's not about the money. Yeah, about about the money. Yeah. And I didn't deep that. But I was like, hey, look. Chad, I'm going to party. I'm going to party. I'm going to change my suit three times. But like, so that's why we ended yeah, up send, okay. changing around the okay. thing. Yeah. So everyone was looking at me at time where I was like, hey, bros. If you, you don't know even what, know what I'm going through. If, if you yeah. know what's going on behind the scenes, yeah. just without time to care that I said, you know, <laughs> I said, shut up. You know what I mean? I'm trying to keep everybody afloat. Yeah, we're going to family together. You know what I mean? <laughs> so like, that's, that, that's like the main thing. So yeah. it's not even to do with culture, it's personal preference. Yeah. And then like, even the dedication now. Mm. Like even dedication, Sha, if I wanted it to be as... As a, a big event, you guys would have been there, right? Yeah. You've been at everything. Yeah. But my mom said dedication, naming ceremony in my house. Yeah. I was Abby. Abby's mom was like, "Oh no, I've got to invite my 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 family and my friends." <laughs> my mom said, "What friends are you inviting? <laughs> what friends are you inviting? Oh. Is it everyday friends? Friends? <laughs> you know what I mean?" And I was just saying, like, Here Fam, we you go know your then. son is like the symbol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. One one side, obviously, I was gonna say, no, it's my first grand, uh, my Chair. first grandson. Yeah. I want to do the most. My mom's like, you don't need to do the most mm. for people that are just gonna come and go. You know what I mean? So that was a whole other thing, and that yeah. was going on for time. And I was just like, yeah. you know what? Put your foot down. Put my foot down. I said, we're gonna just do it at church. Invite who you want to invite. Yeah. So kind of that's kind of meant that Abby's my one in it. Yeah. If you kind of think about it, my mom was still kind of annoyed about that. But I just kind of explained that. Look. I'm not doing this back and forth thing anymore. Like, it's either... Me and, I said, me and Abby are going to say what we want and yeah. we're going to bring you guys along and say what you need to do. That's the best piece of advice can I can advise. give you guys. Yeah. But it you can advise, that way. We're taking but I'm it not on. going to listen to you guys anymore. Yeah. And I'm going to communicate directly to both of you where it is. Yeah. And that's it. 
Yeah. So I would say just, bro, stand your ground. You and your partner need to stand their ground. Mm. Yeah. Come on a united front and no one can break that front. Mm. Yeah. Because that's the thing with pe- um, parents and especially mother, mother-in-laws and mothers in, t- in general. Mm. They will be praying that no one gets involved in your marriage. No one does that. Oh yeah, uh, I remember you I saying pray this. that no one gets involved in your marriage that you guys will be strong as ever. But it will be them two that are getting involved in the marriage. It's them two. Them two are causing confusion in the camp. Confusion. They're causing confusion. And because the thing is, you know what? Because it's my mum. Yeah. And my mum's complaining about something. Abby's mum's complaining about something to her. I'm like, but my mum's like, what do you mean you're saying this about my mum? You know what I mean? Because like, it's my mum. Like, no one's talking about my mum. Like, you know what I mean? And, like, you think? <laughs> like, that is nice. No, so, like, and, and that's the real of it. Yeah. Isn't it? You know what I mean? But yeah, that's the best piece of advice I can okay. give. And also, you need to be, uh, obviously, I'm sorry for the dilemma, but you, you kind of need to be able to speak to your mother-in-law in a le- on a level. Yeah. Because yeah. if, my, if my mother-in-law is supposed to be my mum, yeah. I should be able to talk to her on a level. Like, yeah. there's been times I've argued with Abby's mum, but it's, yeah. she knows it's love. Yeah. And she knows I'm not trying to be rude. But the sometimes I have to stick on her because yeah. I have to come in front of my family. I have to cover abs. Yeah. And go to sometimes. Yeah. Because, you know what I mean? Exactly. You can't just let family. anyone exactly. just yeah. that you know, And that's actually that's back to the dilemma. I think that's what Beatrice was trying to get on get onto as well. It's like, I can't lie, like, if that's his mum, like, getting onto her, mm-hmm. the only way that that's going to be resolved is if he actually comes in front and, like, yeah. sorts yeah. it out. Yeah. Because how can I... Like, obviously, in your situation, it's different. You guys are married and stuff. You've yeah. been together for a very long time, so you can yeah. speak to Abby's mum on a level. Plus, no, you're the man before, of the house. Even before... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even because you've been married. together for a really long time. These yeah. people have just met. Yeah. Yeah. Last yeah. Week. I have to admit, though, Junior, there is a difference when a man comes and says something yeah. versus, versus a, woman. a woman. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because yeah. the man of the house... Ha- like, at yeah. the end of the day, he's going to be the man of the home. Like, mm. he needs to be able to pattern everybody. Yeah, yeah legit. Not, but legit. If I'm being honest, because look, if we me? think about our mums, my husband say, yeah. 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 is so, that not true? Yeah. No, Sorry, true. my husband say, I'm a stick by my man. And, and, and that's <laughs> what Abs does. She always uses me as the excuse. I'm like, you can use me. They're not gonna come and chat to me about yeah. it. Yeah, unless anyway. they wanna chat on a p- p- proper the level. They just said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. My husband say the same husband you were praying for. You were in your room. We were doing night vigil in the church praying for my husband. My husband. No! This is said no! Abby, Malachi is wearing blue! He's not wearing white! <laughs> what are you saying? What God has joined together? Yeah. Let nobody put, put us on that! That's what my husband said! No. All yeah. the prayers that we're rolling in church, all yeah. the prayers! Can two walk together unless they are agreed? <laughs> yeah. My husband said no! <laughs> no, but no, it's so true. Though. That's very, very interesting. Okay, that's a good one. Okay, let me ask another one. So, what about the difference since we didn't speak to you when you were married? Mm-hmm. What about the reality of marriage? Because I feel like hmm. it is slightly glamorized. Now I'm not trying to diminish no, what no, you no, have. No, no. <laughs> I'm not trying to diminish said, no, what no, you no, have. No, 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 don't take no, it the no. wrong way. But don't misquote me. Don't misquote me. <laughs> but I do feel like. It is slightly glamorized because, like you said, a lot of focus is on the wedding. Uh, wedding, 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 and you have to do life. We've, right? said, we've said our congrats. That's yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's it. Yeah, you're your own now. Your own. Thank you for great. So, like, what would be um, like the biggest? Uh, realization about the concept, not the concept, the institution of marriage that you have realized actually you didn't actually perceive that it was going to be like this compared to when you guys weren't married. And obviously, and again, when that, you say this, I know we're not talking down, but we're just being no, real no, and frank no, about the saying. idea of marriage. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, um, I was going to say, can you add to that? Like, what has been just to reiterate, but like, what has been the hardest part to like yeah. come to terms with? Yeah. Because I feel like for me, I was even speaking to the boys about this on the weekend, right? And Tommy, yeah. I was like, one thing that I'm actually a little bit nervous about is sharing a bed. Yeah. I know that sounds so stupid, no, but it's yeah. like, every time you come home, somebody's in the bed. Yeah. Oh yeah. my yeah. God. No. I, know, I don't even know how I'm going to make it to that. Because I can't even share a bed. Yeah, that's <laughs> no, no, that's, bro, trust me, yeah. you'll be fine in that. <laughs> is it? But, Where you're now? <laughs> no, but then, Mommy, no, but, it's not me that said it. <laughs> but I'm, 
I'm trying to think about it. No, I, I do understand what you mean by sometimes over glamorized. Mm. I'm only a year and a bit in, but yeah. it is actually a beautiful thing. Okay. I think one of the, the hardest bits, though, is you know, when you first argue, yeah, with mm. your partner, and before I could send in Coventry, let's say Covia, yeah, mm. before she can go back to her own accord, me, I can stay in my room and chill. Mm. I have nowhere to run to. Yeah. 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 Is go from upstairs into my office room and sit. <laughs> all like, bro, even yeah. then, and but that I think that's probably the biggest thing. And even then, it even might even be conflict because when you have conflict, you have to go and share a bed together. Yeah. And that's when you know it's real because you're yeah. having to still go and do marriage, yeah, even though you're not happy with each other. So, mm. hey, me, I'll go into the bed, I'll face one way. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, and we, we just go to sleep. And I, I don't like doing that, innit? Yeah. But it, it does... Before, I was like, oh, we're never going to go to bed sleep. on an mm. argument because I you don't know what's going to happen. And, and I, I, used to, I, I used to always say that, yeah. <laughs> but sometimes I can go to bed a little bit angry at you. Yeah. But we can sort it out in the morning, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And I think that's the realisation I come to. Um, and a lot, and another realisation is the whole, the whole serving. Okay. We are very selfish human beings, innit? Mm. And I kind of spoke about this on our pod when I was like, you know, how can I, how can it help me? Like, oh, she, she's not making this, she's not mm. cleaning this. Mm. But then it's like, why should I be the one saying that when I should be trying to fulfill her needs, trying to, trying to serve her? Mm. And that's also a bit of where it comes into like submission, where people don't like to do the whole submission thing and all yeah. of that. But if I'm f- filling your love tank with, you know, helping you do things. And making your life easier, then you obviously easily want to go and do help to make my life easier, yeah, right? Yeah, um, yeah. And I think as well, it's just like even with a baby now, mm. it's like sometimes I catch myself thinking, "Have I done enough to help both of them today?" Yeah, you know what I mean. And when I, feel, okay, I think yeah. about that, and I'm like, Ooh. "That's a lot to bear," you know. No, it I can't is. Even yeah. It is, and it's, especially as the man, like when you're when you work, yeah, you finish work or you come back after work, you're hearing a crying baby. And I'm like, oh, coming back from work is so long because I'm just hearing him cry. Yeah. Sometimes he's very restless and then I sleep late and go to work the next day. But then you got a deep that she's been with that crying baby all day. All day. All day. You know what I mean? So yeah. if I can't stand five minutes of the crying, yeah. she's withstood three hours. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what's yeah. that doing to her mental? You know what I mean? Yeah, so I've, I've learned a lot of having to come home and put a game face on and just be like, look, let me get down and the dirty in the grips yeah. of it. Yeah. Let me just take him and, and try and make her life easier. So it, it is very challenging. And I understand why couples do break up. Like, yes, I was going to say, because it actually happens a lot up. in the beginning stages. Yeah. And especially yeah. when you bring in a especially, child. Especially. Yeah. That's why when think, you say you understand, what do you mean? Um, because because of the pressure of bringing a child, especially if you're not married, yeah. So mm. obviously, no shame to anyone. Sure. Mm. But when if you're not married and you don't have that back in anyway, yeah. And you bring in a kid to this world, mm. the pressure of you guys doing it. Doing raising the kid yeah. and being together, there's a lot of strain in a relationship. Like, mm. ah, sure. first couple six weeks, you can't nap, you're sexual frustrated, etc. Mm. Stuff like that. You're hearing a baby crying, you're mm. tired, mm. you're not sleeping right. Mm. Someone's just screaming in your ear. Mm. You're gonna be very fired up and you yeah. switch out anything. You know what I mean? Tired. You see what I mean? Yeah. So when you don't have marriage as the backing to mm. you or the foundation. You could just say, oh, I could just leave. Yeah. Me, I can't leave. Where am I going? It's yeah. a divorce. And then when you think about it, ah, what do you, so because of What's small crime, yeah. what, where am I going to be after that? <laughs> <laughs> you must go find me on the streets. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So I do understand why people do break up because yeah. of that. Because trust me, it's such a, like, bro, mm-hmm. one minute your life's calm, you're free, you're living life. Yes. Now, bam. You've got a baby. Ooh, child, yeah. that You've got man. someone That's to look after. Boy, you know, that baby light. <laughs> you know what I mean? But as much as it's stressful, it is, trust me, like, I, and I'm slightly starting to get the hang of it now, which is mm. good. But it is an amazing thing to see, sit down, see your family, see Malachi, mm. see Abs, and I know that I've got them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, oh, that's so, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm. Yeah, I feel like you touched on so much that, like, it's... I always, as a woman, obviously there's certain things that I just know, for example, yeah, I'm going to have to go through pregnancy. I'm going to have to deliver the child. Mm. I'm going to have to nurse the child. And like, 
you know, I don't know if you saw there was a few yeah, you did. There was a, a video on t- on Twitter where a woman was nursing a baby throughout the night. Yeah, you see yeah, it. With the ring light. And oh. the guy did not get, get he just up got up once. once he just got oh, yeah, into the middle of the baby. No, I saw that. his eye. And don't get it wrong. I understand. I think that's for me. Like, I'm also starting to realize that actually, you know, he he might actually need to go and work. And like, I I know the feeling of not sleeping and going to have to go oh. to work. That is so painful. So sometimes I can't lie. Because of that, you might need to let you might need to handle things your whilst partner. your yeah. partner sleeps. But I think I don't know. It's still it's still quite painful to see as mm. well. There was a follow up tweet though to that. You know, oh, was there? Okay, yeah, what was it? where it was. That the guy during the day takes care of the other children as well. Oh, really? And works. Okay. Oh, I had it saved somewhere. Okay. But yeah. Okay. But okay. That's that's good. Yeah. That's important context mm. as well. To be fair, um, but I think that's something that as women that maybe we do struggle with in general is just because we have had to go through so much physically as well, and also our life is actually on pause because no, the baby is. actually needs us to no, it is. It is live because it's taking our milk for example mm-hmm. um i feel like sometimes you feel like nothing can really justify why any like why you should have a break when you personally have never felt like you can have a break yeah mm-hmm. like uh, do you remember when we spoke to um, my friend jen mm-hmm. and we spoke about like pregnancy and stuff and i remember mm-hmm. she said that like at the beginning the baby is literally just obviously you're looking after the baby. Like you're, even sometimes you, some people will sleep with the baby mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. they're feeding so much and doing their cluster feeding, all those different things. And it's like you actually don't have a single second to yourself, mm-hmm. like not even mm-hmm. a single. And, and even remember one, the yes, I, I remember my friend when she had a baby, like, and she was actually doing it by herself. Mm-hmm. Um, she had to be taking when she uses a toilet. When she showers, mm-hmm. she has to take her baby into one of those, uh, you know, uh, chair things, yeah. strap the baby in, take the baby into the shower. And so she can be looking whilst in the shower and monitoring the baby because, yeah, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? Oh, you like, never know what can happen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's, it's a lot to like not have a single moment to yourself. So when you've seen that someone has gone out to work, yes, work is not glamorized, but you're just focused on the fact that they're not at home. Yeah. <laughs> they're able to yeah. actually have a moment to themselves. Yeah. But as women, I feel like we need to actually take a step back and realize that actually like you are also going through your own kind it's of... It's a sacrifice yeah. on both parts. It's yeah. just different. Yeah. It looks different. Yeah, definitely, definitely. However, um, I do think men, regardless, even though we do get our breaks and stuff like that, we still got to make sure we're present and we do more. Yeah. Because I, I, as I really like, even me, um, so even me, I, in all honesty, I don't wake up really during the night unless there's a madness going on and I hear mad crying. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? And I, I still feel bad for that sometimes, but mm. I definitely have to go to work. So I feel like as guys, when we see our wives constantly with the baby, mm. we need to make sure when we come back, we're present and we're helping out as much as we can. Yeah. Even if that means um, cleaning up, even if that means washing bottles, preparing food for the night. Yeah. Um, of doing anything but mm. just make sure that you're there and you're present and you're helping so your wife doesn't end up resenting you for not doing that you know yeah. what I mean? Goddamn, sure. goddamn, goddamn. But anywho, that's what we have time for, folks. Time with the time. But um, yeah, I really appreciate you, Junior, for coming on. Thanks, Thanks guys. With the man. Appreciate with the it, man. Time. For real, for real. Um, Plug your pod. Yeah, as well. oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, you. don't tell my wife podcast. Um, we release every Thursday, so. Yes. Check us out, man. It's decent content, yeah, man. Nice real, man. Still, it's yeah. decent it's content, actually like. so interesting. Oh, yeah, it's hey. really interesting. Yeah, it's from a so master's perspective. interesting. Yeah, man. I love it. For real, yeah, for real. man. So, no, please, please yeah, like, share, comment, out. engage. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Keep engaging and supporting BTS as well, Come man. On. Let Come us all rise up. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> rise up. <laughs> But yeah, we appreciate you coming on. Um, but yeah, as always, guys, make sure you guys follow us on our socials. That's BTS Pod underscore. Like I said, you people have been listening, you've been subscribing, you've been following. Keep on continuing to do that. And also make sure you check out the poll on Spotify. Again, you guys have been doing that. Write your responses. Tell us how you enjoyed the episode. Tell us, you know, if there's things you want to improve on. Because some mm-hmm. people have been noticing some certain things, giving yep. us advice. And we appreciate it. We're listening mm-hmm. to yeah, you guys. So, taking action. Yeah, literally, yep. for real. So I turned keep, my mic up. Yeah, for real, for real. She <laughs> turned my mic up, boy. Um, so please make sure you guys share that with us. And again, any dilemmas, please, please send them email. to the email address. Do not DM us because it will get lost. But we appreciate the love and support. And we will see you guys in our next episode. Bye. Bye.